are you just trying to take payments online on your website and you really don't want to go through the hassle of setting up something like WooCommerce? You don't have a full-on online store. You're just a photographer, a coach, a service provider, and selling digital downloads. You, you just want to take a payment easily. Well, let me tell you, I've got the solution for you. So keep watching for this big reveal. I'm super excited um, to be able to share this with you today. This is being released today. Finally, this secret project that I've been on the beta testing team from right in the beginning. <laughs> I think the first version I installed was 0.02 is going to be revealed today. The name has been a closely guarded secret. Um, the features have been a closely guarded secret and I'm super excited to have been part of that beta testing. When I joined the beta test Facebook group, I think I was about the 25th person to join it and there's now been 500 beta testers it's super exciting we've ironed out a lot of little nigglies um, as you would expect in the beginning and fixed some usability things but my goodness I cannot believe how awesome this platform is and I really think for a lot of my kind of clients my sort of service provider clients this is going to be a absolute game changer it's not often I use the term game changer I've been around quite a while in this web game. I've seen lots of comings and goings, new products all the time. But let me tell you, this one, it's a game changer. So it's just really easy ways for people to be able to pay you. I mean, that's all we want, right? Just an easy way for people to pay us and for us to get the money. So that's exactly what this is. So... Um, yeah, really, really simple. You've got your invoice payment. You can just put in your invoice number, put in your invoice amount and get an invoice paid. You've got your donation. You can put in an, a custom amount or you can choose a predefined list of amounts and you can do these predefinitions. You can do memberships with options. I mean, you can do absolutely anything you want to. Three options, including a lifetime deal, I mean, all of this is standard in the free version of the plugin, which to me is just amazing. The, the What is included, oh, and the custom thank you pages, let's not forget about that. Um, yeah, I can't believe the stuff that's included in the free version of the plugin. To have subscriptions built into the free tier of Surecart is enormous. I mean, to be able to take a subscription payment from someone for free on your website with the free version of this plugin, that alone is going to make sure that this is a massive success because everywhere else it costs you major money to do that. So subscriptions are built into the free tier of Surecart and it will always be there. This is not really intended for people wanting a full on, you know, dozens of products online store. For those people, WooCommerce is still going to be your plugin of choice if you're wanting all that functionality on WordPress. This is for the rest of us. The rest of us who aren't selling t-shirts or shoes or, you know, a traditional kind of online store environment. Those of us that are selling templates, digital downloads, courses, memberships, anything really, taking a payment online can be an absolute minefield. So that's why Surecart is here. It's going to change the way we do e-commerce on WordPress. I'm super excited that there's now a really solid alternative to the solutions that have been out there. Let's hop in and have a look. Okay, so let's hop in. So you, you install Surecart, you connect it up, and basically it runs through a connection. It just it asks you over the course of four, fee, four forms, I think it is, your details. It'll ask you your name, etc., um, a little bit about your business information, and it's all just to create your Surecart account. And then it's going to ask you what you're going to use for payments. And the two options at the moment that um, Surecart integrates with are Stripe, and coming soon is PayPal. Now, speaking of these payment gateways, um, there are a number of payment gateways that they've said are coming. 
Um, and the way that they're going to determine which payment gateways to uh, introduce is going to be to get the most coverage around the world as possible. So I'm in the bottom end of Africa. Um, you know, the typical user here in South Africa doesn't actually have a Stripe account because it's quite expensive and quite difficult for us here to actually get a Stripe account because Stripe isn't active in South Africa. Um, most of us have PayPal, but we can't get reference transactions enabled, which is a silly thing that PayPal requires in order to do subscription payments, for example. And there's a million other restrictions. So what they're doing at Surecart is they are going to introduce payment gateways by region that will cover as much of the world globally as possible um, in order to cater for as many of us as possible. So at the moment, you need a Stripe account really for this to work for you, but they are planning on bringing out those other integrations with payment gateways thick and fast. So definitely start following um, the progress of the plugin out there in the world, WordPress world. Follow me, I'll keep you posted. Um, subscribe to my channel and I'll keep you posted with what's going on with Surecart as well because I know that all of my um, clients and fans um, are going to be very interested in, yeah, in Surecart because let's face it, we all want to be able to take payments online easily and beautifully. Okay, so I'm going to whiz through the settings section like super fast. I'm not even gonna, going to go into this in much detail. Um, you've got some basic store settings um, and then uh, the part most of us, most of my clients are interested in is the design and branding. Very simple. You can add a logo and you can add a brand color and that's about it. And that's really all you need when you have clean, simple checkouts. Um, there's some other um, settings you can go through, like your email notifications. Now, the super cool thing about this is that you can customize your notifications right out the box with the, the free version. So let's say, for example, you wanted to customize your um, order confirmation email. Now, there is a bit of code here. You can see a preview. So you can see the preview over here. And for example, if you saw this text and you wanted to edit that text, you would look for that text. And here it is right here. This notification is a friendly reminder, blah, blah, blah. You just edit that text, you save it, and that email would go out with different wording for you. So fairly simple to edit this wording. Uh, nothing uh, really fancy. Yes, there is a bit of code. Um, and you know maybe in future that will become a little bit easier. But the point is you can customize these emails um, in terms of the content yourself pretty easily, which is something that in other solutions normally either costs you a bit of money or takes a lot of tech skill. Subscriptions. Okay, so subscriptions are included in the free version of this plugin, which is amazing. I mean, normally, if you're using something like WooCommerce, for example, you have to add a $199 a year is what it is at the moment um, plugin called WooCommerce Subscriptions in order to be able to take a subscription payment. So to have subscriptions built in to a free version of this plugin is amazing and it is going to be a game changer. There we go again with um, this product, especially for those of us um, who are in other parts of the world where $199 is a lot of money. Um, if you're earning dollars and you're in the States or you're earning pounds and you're in you know, the UK or whatever, then that's maybe affordable if you're making a bit of money through your store. But for a lot of startups and small businesses in other parts of the world, like in Africa where I live, that's an enormous amount of money. So subscriptions are in the free version and they will always be in the free version. So that is super exciting. Okay, then you've got your customer portal. Now, this is um, also lovely. You can disable um, parts of the functionality in your portal, like allowing subscription cancellations. You could turn that off or quantity changes or subscription changes. Now, when you set up your subscription products, you can actually set up a group where the upgrades can happen between. So for example, if you had a subscription for a care plan, let's say, or whatever the, whatever it is you're selling, um, you might have a one-off payment or a yearly payment and a monthly payment. You could create some different um, options and the person can actually change, upgrade or downgrade or change between those subscriptions. So these are all the sorts of things that you can choose whether to allow or not allow. 
Okay, the other very important thing that um, this does for you is calculate your tax. So if you need to collect tax in your store, based on where your store is set up and where your customer is set up, these tax calculations all get done for you, which is enormous and huge. Um, so yeah, that in itself is a massive thing uh, for you not to have to figure out um, how to do. So that is all in the store settings. Okay, so let's go um, back to the getting started section and let's go through the different things that you can do and how you can create products and forms. So the way this plugin works is you create products. These are the things that you're going to sell. This is where you specify how much it is, when the payment's going to happen. Is it once off? Is it a subscription? Um, how much is it? All that good stuff. And then the other part that you create is what they call forms. And the forms are actually your checkout forms. So this is not like your traditional kind of WooCommerce setup where you set up a product and there was automatically a store and whatnot. And, you know, yeah, th this is a completely different animal, but in a great way. So let's go and have a look. So we are going to have a look at products, first of all. You're not going to believe how easy it is to create a product, right? So here we go. We're going to go add a new product. You're going to give it a name. You're going to decide whether it's a single payment or a subscription, and you're going to put an amount in. So if it's a $97 um, amount, then that's all there is to it. And you go and create your product. This is superb right here, um, this section. So you've got your product image, which we used to, but here, downloads, uh, you can upload the file that this product gives them access to over here, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So if you are selling templates or um, sound, uh, you know, recordings or PDF workbooks, um, any of that kind of stuff, digital download type stuff, you literally upload your file here and you've created your digital product. Uh, and that is how easy yeah, <laughs> how difficult and how easy it is to create a digital product for sale. Um, so super, super simple. This is it. Um, and that's it. You created your product right there. If you want to create a subscription product over here, you click on subscription and then you'll see the options change a little bit. So now you've got the option of the $97 every one, two, three, whatever the case is month, year, or lifetime is the options you have at the moment. And then you also have a lifetime subscription. So this is if you were, let's say you're Adam and you're releasing SureCart and you're going to have a SureCart Pro, you're going to have a monthly amount, a, a annual amount and a lifetime deal, right? We all love these lifetime deals. So you can actually add those three different options to this product. So you can say it's $97 every month. You can add another option and you can say it's $4.97 every year. And you can add another option and you can say it's $9.97 for a lifetime subscription. So you now have three different options, uh, subscription options for this product. When you're done with your settings, you literally just click create product and that's all there is to it. Okay, now, um, importantly to show um, on this product um, screen is once you've created your product, when you mouse over this area with the price, you're going to see this copy bar link that pops up. So all of you that love your page builders and the blocks builder and your sales pages, how amazing is that? You go and copy that bar link and you put that into your button in your sales page and hey presto, you're ready to check out. So let's have a look and see exactly how that bar link works. So if I went to this 497 and I copied the bar link, I'm going to pop along to a new window and I'm going to paste that in as if I'd clicked on a button, right? So now we can see where that takes it, us to. It takes us to the standard checkout page and here we are ready to check out. So this is your first uh, glimpse of the lovely clean layout. I mean, how simple is this? You just put in your card details, your name, your email, and you click on the button. It's as simple as that. So that's products. Super easy. Your product is set up and ready to sell. Now let's hop along 
down to this section here called forms because this is where you're really going to want to get busy. Forms is where you create your checkout and you can pop this checkout onto any page in any WordPress site because it is short code based. So that is amazing. Right here you'll see next to all of these checkout forms that I've created, there's a little short code that you just copy. You go and paste that into your, your sales page and you've got the checkout in your page ready to go. You can paste multiple checkouts in a page. Are you starting to imagine <laughs> how you can use this in your own business? Because I'm super excited. Okay, so let's go and create a new checkout form for you. All right, so we're going to click on Add New, and we're going to go and create a checkout for that amazing product we just created. So this is the amazing product checkout form. And the nice thing about this is that you can obviously design different checkouts for different products all over your store. So there doesn't need to be one look for everything. You can literally do whatever you want. So you'll see um, the, as a starting point, there's six different layouts here, which is super cool. So you have some idea of where to start with your checkout. You've got your default checkout. You've got a simple checkout, which I'm a big fan of. You've got your sections. You've got an invoice checkout, which I'll show you shortly, a donation checkout, a two-column checkout. So you've got a few to start with. I'm just going to go with, let's go with sections. So we're going to choose sections, and then you're going to go and choose your product. So we're going to add that product we just created, which is called My Amazing Product. And you've got the three options. So I'm going to add the monthly option the annual option, and the lifetime deal. Now, everything is um, customizable about this checkout, as you can see. So you can choose now a customer that must purchase all of these. Doesn't make sense in this case. Customer must select one of these. Yep, that makes sense. Or customer can select multiple options. So now this would be um, a great option if, let's say, you've got like an order bump kind of environment where you're selling something, let's say you're selling a template, and then you've got some upsells that you want to add. Um, that would be a great way of doing that so that they can select multiple options and put their checkout together as it were. For now, I'm going to leave it as one option must be chosen. And how cool is this? Can I draw your attention to this for a moment? Custom thank you pages. Like custom thank you pages. I mean, most of the time that costs you extra money, an extra plugin, an extra license, or a lot of code, custom code, to do that. Right here, this option is built into Surecart for every single checkout and every single product. You can specify a custom thank you page. So you can build out your own thank you page. You can build it out with your builder. You can put in your checkout um, option elements. Um, it is really, really powerful. So there's the option of uh, specifying your custom thank you page. So I'm just going to go ahead and create it just like that and keep it simple. Okay, so here is your amazing product checkout form and you are good to go just with this, just like that. You can go and, you know, copy that short code and paste it into your page, but you can also add or edit anything you want in this checkout to make it look like pretty much anything you want it to look like. So, for example, you decide, actually, I don't need the address section. You just go and remove that and remove that address section. And it's gone. Another thing that you used to have to pay extra money for with WooCommerce is to be able to customize your checkout. Hey, do you want to add a, um, a checkbox for your terms and conditions? No problem. Go and add a block. Now you'll see a few blocks here that you've used recently, but you can also choose browse all and you're going to see all these blocks are available in your checkout form. One of them is a checkbox. So you go and add your checkbox here. You say, um, I have read and agree to the T's and C's. And you can go and link this to your terms and conditions. I'm just going to do that. And you can set some settings on this checkbox. You can make it required, for example. So they can't check out if they haven't agreed to your terms and conditions. Okay, so think about the power of this one. 
At the moment with WooCommerce, there's only an option for one terms and conditions on your whole store. And how often do my clients have different terms and conditions for the different services they offer? Well, now you can really quickly and really easily add custom terms and conditions on your checkouts, super simply, in the free version. Okay, you can also add, let's just go and see some of the other blocks you can add. Um, I quite like this um, switch. So there's one called a switch. Now this is pretty similar to the terms and conditions. So uh, let's say terms and conditions. Okay, and your label says terms and conditions and you can add a description in there that says agreed, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and you can say uh, toggle it on and it must be checked by default or it must be required. So whatever your thing is that you're using that switch for, you can specify it. So really, really lovely feature as, as well. So you can see, you can add these um, different blocks that make up the checkout form anywhere you want to. Um, yeah, it's pretty bloody powerful. <laughs> Excuse my French. It's amazing, right? So that's it. We're going to go ahead and publish this um, form. And then I'm going to show you how you would go and embed this on any page that you want to embed it on. So here's my amazing checkout form. And here's a short code right here. Okay, now I'm going to go and head along to a page. This is a copy of my Black Friday page from last year. And so I'm just showing you this is a Beaver Builder page, for example. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drag this uh, checkout layout in to the bottom of this page. Okay, so I'm going to go and grab an HTML module. I'm going to pop it into a new row. And I'm going to put that short code in. And I'm going to save it. And I'm going to publish this page. And there at the bottom of this page is my checkout. And so you can imagine again the power of this. If you have a sales page, all your buttons throughout the sales page link down to your um, checkout form. So now you don't actually need to have an external page that you go to. You can actually have your checkout right here on your sales page embedded wherever you want to with whatever design you want behind it incredibly powerful. You can have multiple checkouts on a page. So I'm just going to scroll up and show you a couple that I added in here earlier. So this was my Black Friday deal from last year. And right over here, when they clicked on this button, it would take them to my checkout form, which is done with Cartflows, another amazing plugin. Um, but now I have the option of actually just embedding that checkout right here. I can change up my design. I can, you know, put it anywhere. You can see over here I've put it in a sidebar, for example. I mean, so you can just absolutely design whatever you want using your page builder or Gutenberg blocks or just whatever you want to use to build out and lay out your page and then go and embed your checkout absolutely anywhere you want to incredibly, incredibly, incredibly powerful. Was I right or was I right? So that's just a little bit behind the scenes on Surecart. It's really, really exciting. I'm really, yeah, it's really powerful. I think that for many users, this is going to be all that you need in order to take payments on your website. You're not going to need to install a huge, clunky, slow e-commerce plugin. This is lean and fast, easy to use, super simple. And yeah, I'm really excited to see where the team takes it. And let's talk about pro features, because at the end of the day, it's not just the, the free stuff that we care about. We want to know where the plugin's going, what other options might we have. So if you're looking for things like multi-currency, if you are looking for proper order bumps and one-click upsells, I know that's huge for my community. Those sorts of things are going to be in the pro version of the plugin. Now, we're not sure yet how much that's going to be, whether there's going to be a lifetime deal. We're crossing our fingers and toes. Um, yeah, what price points it's going to be at. 
but I am really excited at the options. Things like a cart abandonment uh, functionality will be in the pro version as well. Um, subscription dunning, which is where um, all those follow-up emails get sent automatically when a, a subscription payment has been missed. That's going to be in the pro version and the affiliate platform will also be in the pro version. So all those kinds of bits and pieces will be coming in the pro version. But I think you can agree the free version is going to do a lot of what a lot of people need without having to even go pro. So that is super exciting. Something else that will be coming uh, to look forward to is the automation plugin. Now, we're not sure what this is going to be called. It's still um, a hot, uh, hot, well, a secret, hotly, it's a hot topic. Um, we have been told to expect it in about two weeks. So please keep your eye on the channel. As soon as I know something, I will definitely um, get something recorded and published. But very exciting automation plugins. So if you are familiar with the WordPress environment and perhaps you use or you know of things like WP Fusion or Uncanny Automator or even Zapier, if you know what Zapier is and how it automates things between different plugins and um, accounts and integrations that you have, that's what the automation plugin is going to do. And it's going to integrate perfectly with Surecart. So we are super excited to see what that is going to do and how much that is going to cost. Um, that's going to be a game changer. I think the automation plugin teamed up with Surecart. I'm hoping that the free version of both of those is incredibly powerful and enough for your average user. And it'll be more like your top end users that want to start experimenting with things like uh, one click upsells and exciting stuff like that, that are going to do the pro. I was quite excited to hear about the um, two-click upsell. So the one-click upsell can hap happen during your normal checkout. That will be coming in the pro version. But they're also investigating an option where within the time period, so within, I don't know, something like two months, again, this, this is all very much in flux and to be released later. But within a certain period, there will be a, click, a quick two-click upsell. So you can imagine email funnels after selling a product. Um, most of my clients do this. They get their um, customers into extensive email funnels. You could have a two-month long email funnel, and it's super easy for somebody to check out and get the additional products for several months after. That is something that really excites me, and I know will excite my clients as well. So Feel like I've prattled on for a long, long time, but I'm really excited about Surecart. I'm sure you're going to be very excited about it. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more about new stuff that's coming to WordPress or for web um, that'll make your life easier. Um, that's really what I'm all about. I want to make your life easier as an entrepreneur trying to sell things and do things easily online, create your online sanctuaries and make all the things easy to do. That's what this channel is all about and why I'm here filming this. So please do like and subscribe and I hope to share more news about Surecart soon.